Hi everyone and welcome to Intavi in a Books, a channel where I, Intavi, talk about all my books and all my bookish things. Today I am doing something different. I am doing a tag. I haven't done a tag since I did the newbie booktuber tag. Um, it was a lot to do. <laughs> um, I, I thought I was prepared for the answers, but I think I, I wasn't so prepared. And I don't like to not be prepared. So I'm not even going to pretend like I didn't prepare for this. I'm very prepared. Um, so hopefully my answers will reflect that. So I was tagged by Sanja over at We Read Here. Link, I will link her channel. D over at Heron's Corner. This is the second time I'm shooting this. D hadn't tagged me when I first shot my video, but I wanted to reshoot and maybe tag other people as well. Um, so yeah, excited to be doing this tag. I've seen it go around. I found a lot of cool black YouTubers when I wasn't even on booktube myself. So excited to do this. Without any further delay, let us get into some questions. I believe it's 10 questions in total, but I am going to combine two of the questions, so it might come down to nine questions. Question one, tell us a bit about yourself. My name is Ntabi Singh, Ntabi for short, which sort of happens whether you want to or not. Like if your name is Ntabi Singh, it just automatically just comes becomes Ntabi. So I am Ntabi Singh. I am South African, uh, born in the Northwest, raised in Pretoria, and eventually settled into the best city of them all, Johannesburg. I moved to London in November 2020. I am a chartered accountant. I work for one of the big four auditing firms in external audit. I am married to a dope ass scientist who moved with me in November. And I think that is just a summary of me. Oh, I am also an older sister. I am the first of three children, which is something I like to bring up as often as I can because I'm really proud of the fact that I am the first of three children. <laughs> Um, second question, who's a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about? I'm going to talk about Cindy Magona here, who is a South African author. She's probably well known in South Africa, but I don't think a lot of people read her books. She's written so many books and even I will admit to not having read a lot of her books. She has children's books. She is a great storyteller. Like she has biographies. She's just a really great writer and I think she deserves, um, more recognition than what she already has. So if you do know about anything, this is a bit of a cop out of an answer. The the fact is, I think we really need to read more by Cindy Mangwana. So I'll just have a few of her books plastered somewhere around me when I upload this. Uh, favorite book about the black experience? Something that Dee said in her video was, what is the black experience? And I think that's what makes this question so hard. Like, what is the black experience? You know, like, I don't know, maybe the wording could be different. Um, Cause we're so different. There's so many of us all over the world doing different things, living different lives, achieving different things for different reasons. Um, so it's just a bit hard to pin down. The book that I, I chose for this was Red at the Bone because of the family dynamics. Um, I thought I, I related to this book and the story a lot. I was raised by my grandparents. My mother had me when she was in high school as well. So I just thought it was a different, um, telling of my life story because yeah some some things i'm like Ooh, what? and it was in the united states as well so it's like very different but i really enjoyed that book i love the love in the family that surrounded um the the, the daughter I, I can't remember her name now but i really loved um the love that surrounded her i love following um iris the mother's experience i love the grandfather's perspective of how things unfolded i I loved the thought. I loved everything about this book. So this the Red of the uh, Red of the Bone would be my favorite book about uh, the black experience. Um, I do not sound like somebody who prepared, but I really did prepare. <laughs> um, book number four, favorite book by a black author, Nervous Conditions by Tisi Dalagemba. I don't want to say a lot about this because I talked about it in my last video, but please read it. It's an incredible book about overcoming poverty, overcoming sexism, overcoming just so much. And it's such a good book. I know that there's more books in the series. I haven't been brave enough to read them because I wanted Nervous Conditions to be that beacon. Um, but definitely pick up Nervous Conditions. Fantastic book. 
recommendation recommend a black and queer book this one i chose the death of vivek oji like i said in my other video love 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 Upworker Emezi, I think they are an incredible writer and I love the story. I loved how it started. I think it starts by saying there was a fire in the market. The, there was a fire in the market the day Vivek Oji died, which always already intrigued you because you're like, did Vivek Oji die because of the fire or did someone go and light the, the market on fire because Vivek Oji died. It's just so many questions that you go into that book wanting to find out about. And it's a really interesting book. And I think if you're gonna read Vivek Oji, another thing that I would recommend is that you watch some interviews of Akweke talking about Vivek Oji. Cause it's really interesting how the story came to them, how they wrote the story and what the story meant. And it's just very interesting for me to hear what inspires writers so i would definitely recommend that you pick up um the death of vivek oji and then watch a book that Inezi talk about the death of vivek oji question six recommend a book with a black person on the cover and this one was obvious i even had to get up to go get the book but this this one i chose redefining realness by janet mock uh, my path to womanhood identity love and so much more and that so much more is, is is the most important part about this book uh, for me. Janet Mock is an incredible writer. I have her second book as well, so Surpassing Certainty. So if once you're done with this one, definitely pick up this one because she talks about what her 20s taught her. I think I read this when I was in my 20s. I think so. I'm 31 now, so I must have read it then. Um, but yeah, Janet Mock is such an incredible writer. She is such a great storyteller of her own story. Like, it just felt like, I don't know. I love books where when I read, I feel like somebody is just sitting right in front of me and I am rubbing coconut oil all over their hair and they're like, girl. Um, so I really love this. She is an incredible writer. This, this story had so many things about family, about love, about finding self, about being seen. I think about the, the, the scene where Wendy, who is Janet Mark's best friend, saw her for the first time and was like, I, hey girl. So I really love that. It, it's, it's a great story. I, I would recommend this over and over again so yeah that's that's the book that I will choose for a book with a black person on the cover um, the next question is recommend a book by a black author that makes you so happy and that book is A Song of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown loved 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 that book I loved the characters in that book I loved the exploration of grief in that book I loved Roseanne a Brown's handling of um, of grief, of 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 mental illness, of of everything. I think she told such a great story, and that book made me so happy when I was reading it. And then I watched Roseanne A. Brown talk about certain things in the book, like how she decided that the North wasn't going to be the coldest part. It, and I was like, what? You thought about that? I missed that. You added that little detail in that book and I missed it and I still thought this was incredible. The world building in that book is unmatched. My, like it's, it's completely unmatched. I, I'm getting so excited and hyped just talking about that book. But the world building in that book is unmatched. I, I just really love it. And yeah, that was definitely my favorite fantasy read of 2020. I'm so excited for the sequel that's coming out. Another book with a black person on the cover that I would recommend, by the way. But yeah, so Song of Race and Ruin made me really happy, still happy about it, if you can't tell. The next question, talk about a book by a black author that's coming in 2021. I have three books. The first one is Invisible Strings by Naledi Mashishi. Um, she's a South African writer. I think this is this is her first book. Um, she It's a book about a girl, I think her name is Tato, who realizes that she has not magical abilities, but also healing some of the traumas that she has had in her life. I don't know much about this book except that it's coming, so I'm really excited about it. 
The second book that I would recommend is How Beautiful We Were by Mbolo Mbue. This book is already out. I think it came out in March 2021. I have my copy and so far I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, a, it's a good read. Um, this book is about a, a, a town or a village that had has a lot of oil and had a company come into their village and start mining that oil. And as a result, there's just some illnesses that are just coming out in, in, the, in the community they don't have drinkable water so all these things that are as a result of having their natural resources mined this is a book that i'm really excited about because i've had this story in my head for a long time because i come from a, a, a country that is rich in minerals because i come from the northwest originally which is a province that is also rich in minerals and my home village is one where there are basic things that are lacking like clean and drinkable water but right down the road there's just a lot of fun and there are people who are mining it and there are people who are just living off this land that is somehow failing to give back to the people in the community so it's a book it's a story that i thought about a lot so i'm very excited to read um in Bulumbu's, um translation of of that story the third book is Dear Centuron by Akweke Emezi. I've already said that I love Akweke Emezi and I will read anything that they put out. But this one I'm excited about because I saw that they said on Instagram that this book is a continuation from Freshwater and I love Freshwater. It was the first of its kind that I've ever read um, in terms of like just the setting of the story. I had never read anything like it personally and I really love that. So I'm really excited about Dear Cinderan. Um, I've already placed my order just waiting for June or July when it's coming out. So that's another one that I would definitely recommend. And then the last two questions are uh, the first question is tag some black booktubers. So I am tagging Nomzamo Shangase, who is a South African booktuber. I am tagging Alexandra Reeds, who is a Nigerian booktuber. And I am tagging A Time to Share Books, who is also a South African booktuber. Um, and then recommending some black booktubers. I've already said we read here. I uh, started watching her content after she tagged me and I really enjoyed it. Um, hey, it's Shay. Really love her content as well. Heron's Corner D. Love, love, love her channel. She's very interesting. I recommend that you watch the video where she talks about why she is focusing on reading books about the black experience. And that, that's a really interesting video. Um, Books by Lienz, uh, who is also one of my favorite um, bookstagrammers. Uh, so check those channels out. And if I didn't mention you, I'm really sorry. It's just really hard to think of everybody that you know and love when you are doing a tag. But um, thank you for D2D and Sanja for tagging me. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. And as usual, remember to be kinder than you think is necessary. Bye.